Hey folks, Quilly Keen here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld. We have let a little bit of time run since the last episode, just a little bit, let some work go by. But I think it's time for us to go ahead and take control on stream here. And I think it's also time for us to do this hidden compound excavation. I think I had meant to do it uh, at the start of last episode, originally when I left things off, but I forgot. So we're going to do that now. We're going to load up, we got to load up 12 people. We definitely want to make sure we bring at least an researcher with us, right? For the hack and maybe multiples. I think it's perfectly fine for us to bring Maddie Fawns and Emulator. I think those are all pretty good picks. So, oh, control click doesn't work. Shift click, yeah, there you go. And then other than that, just people who might be good at shooting. I'm actually wondering about maybe not Gomp in this case, because I think if we're gonna do any fighting, it's gonna be close quarters, um, high DPS requirements. Maybe we'll bring, oh no, Reich's, oh, Fawns is in a pod. Never mind, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're going to talk about that in a second here. Um, Sophia, do I want to bring a melee or just a tank? Maybe I should have one. All right, you guys get in the shuttle. So I did go and build a couple of these. I think we might have just hit a wealth milestone because we've got three people who have suddenly started to ask about um, age reversal. Or maybe it's when I built the first one because I was going to build one for Hope's finger. I was thinking of doing regen. I realized now, hang on, I should just give her a bionic right arm. Again, we're thinking about cybering up our keepers as much as possible. So I should probably just plan on doing that with Hope. So in fact, let me go and add over here. Um, Bionic. We can add the uh, the leg as well, but I'm going to set the leg to zero. We're just going to do the Bionic arm because, yeah, we might do a full cyber job. All right, everyone's on there. And in a moment, we should get the landing somewhere else. Oh, and I figured what was going on with my sound last episode. Um, I'd had a, uh, a Zoom call. I had to do businessy things and I did a zoom call and apparently doing that messed up my sound volume settings so that's always really pleasurable I actually intentionally didn't use my webcam for the zoom call because like I just know it's going to mess up my video settings I wasn't even thinking about the audio side of it well this looks quite different and more intimidating than I'm used to okay well we'll do the thing that we've done before which is deacons oh Right, they change it, can't deconstruct. I think we can still shoot our way into these. The idea is for fire management. Let's get everyone here. Although, yeah, not select spear. I think for fire management, right? We, we blow a hole in here because if anything sets anything internally on fire, then this way it'll count as being part of the outdoors and therefore not be, uh, not get super crazy hot. Hermetic cage. Ancient generators. Okay, none of those things go boom. Let's fire this tile. I don't think any of these things go boom either. Right? Like old fuel cells or something that, that do it? It's been a while since I've done one of these. I think opening the crate might trigger bad guys or something. I'm not certain. Now, clearly there are some areas we are, that are not currently reachable. Okay, let's come into this room. Lots of corpses. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to get some bad thoughts. Bugs! Um, let's get you over there. Oh, and now they're asleep. I think we want to fire at them, though. Look at all these bad thoughts. Let's get Spear... Why are you moving so slowly there, Spear? Is it just me? Is it because you're stoned? Prosthetic leg, smoke leaf, stoned, missing a toe, lower consciousness because of the stone, so we're getting a double dip on there. Well, that's far from ideal. Okay, actually, stay over here for a sec. Oh boy, can you hit them here? Good. Sophia's not going to be able to because it's out of range. And Javi... Oh, you do have a firing angle. Okay. Okay. Oh, butch bugs. Oh, from over here. Didn't notice them. Uh, 
that. Get you here. They can open doors? How can they do that, man? They're animals. They're animals. Sorry, I'm trying to do some aliens quotes. Actually, what would they say in the aliens? Maybe. All right. Oh my God, these bad thoughts. How opening the crate starts a timer, right? For attacks? And there's some info, good. Ooh, okay, that just goes there. Somewhat unexpected. But if this is outdoors, it means we can go and like poke these walls. Probably shooting it's the way to do it. Oh. Get a little closer here to minimize the chance that you shoot spear in the back of the head, please. Come on, bug. What are you doing run away? I thought you were a bug, not a chicken. I guess I can't hold open the doors. There's more coming, that's fine. Spear's all on his own, so it might be a little scary. Nope, we're good, okay. Insects have woken up. Move here, Spear has to run. He's at least got some helpers a little closer. Get balance. Dude, there's bugs all over the place. I'm sorry, you're triggering infestation. Tunneling towards you. Um, get out, get out, get out, get out. Here. Get out through there. Okay. I'll probably run out through that door. That's fine. Area is now safe. Well, you say that. Meanwhile, insect infestation. So, you know, I have my doubts. Oh, this is taking forever to trigger. More firepower. More firepower. More firepower! Oh, Spear! I hope you're gonna be okay. I still never made a really good weapon for you, but at least you've got some body armor, right? I mean, flak vest, flak pants, devil strand cape. It's all pretty decent. There you go, we're getting the area safe message again. Okay, and you're just booping those things. Okay, let's go furniture sleeping spots. I know they're outside, but that's fine. Uh, I know there's only one person hurt, but that's okay too. Spear, we're gonna do that. Immolator, we're gonna deselect you because you are a medic. So you might be able to do some treatment. We're gonna get you guys to move into the room over here. Actually, we probably should do some finish off on these things too, because they might get back up. Sometimes they do. Okay, you've got a happy thought, which is great. I'm gonna pop this door here. Okay. Unrecruit everyone. Our th researchers on site here are oops. Just Maddie and Immolator. Hack that. Immolator's building a snowman. Could you prioritize tending? Thank you. There's deconstructions, yeah, then there's the open commands. I think if we do this, does anything bad happen from opening these? Maybe I should complete the hack first. Eh, probably fine, right? Some people getting some slope of sleep done. Okay, none of these injuries are bad. Now it's just bruises. Tell you what, come over here and hack this terminal for me, please. I wonder if like the idlers could just be doing some deconstruction or something like that. And who's our next best? Arcadius is actually pretty decent at this. Where was the other terminal? There. Another infestation. Huh. Okay. I don't think I want to send people in here because it might be a little too intense. Oh, I think we have to go and fight them outside again. I'm thinking of going and 
like queuing up a deconstruct for all the doors in here. Or wait, is, if I claim them, ah, there you go. Now I can claim and I can flag them as hold open, which is what I want. All right, let's send everyone outside again real quickly. Or even we could do a running defensive battle back over here, but I'm hoping the bugs come to us. If they don't, we'll move forward and set up afterwards. Yeah, they are coming. Back off some more. Get some more open terrain for shooting these guys. Spear, you might have to tank for us again a little bit. Okay, Harry's not safe. These guys are still here, but... Why are these things being marked for cutting? I'll bet you because of the claim, it wants to build a roof on this now. I guess I can just do ignore roof area. And then also cancel these cutting jobs because they're not very necessary. Okay. Certainly risky, but I thought, no, it's fine. Is one of these? Oh yeah, one of these can be finished off. Okay, so Arcadius, resume your hack over here, please. Emulator over here. And Madeline. Did you already finish one of the consoles? Oh, the room I'm in now. I still have those things flagged to be opened, which seems to be okay. We got a raid coming in three days. That's going to be fine. We're going to be done well before then. Um, deconstruct some ancient beds. Maybe we can get some raw material. Oh, yeah, this calls out a satellite. I don't know if I care about that. Oh, there's some chem fuel just sitting here. Oh, I guess it came out of the crates. Which is a little freaky deaky. Uh, I think you're hacked. You're hacked. There. This is just waiting for this to finish. And then we can leave. Infestation is triggering now. But we can just leave to the shuttle. Oh, this is not a pack up a caravan and leave kind of thing. I think we have to manually pick up stuff here. I'm not sure. Um, oh, set the load. Then we'd have to deal with another infestation if I wanted to bring this stuff. You know what? It's fine. Just... Get in the shuttle now. All right, quest complete. We got some more in first in information, not infestation, which is what I was about to read. People are mostly okay. Spear took a couple of injuries, but things mostly worked out the way they're supposed to, which is good. Um, I think some of our construction here stalled a little bit because it's the, actually, you got the components, so you're working on that. Um, right. Oh, is Reich done your cycle? That's good news, Reich, because. I was waiting to give you a drill arm. Yeah, you're gonna go mining in, but before you do that, drill, baby, drill. Is that you? Yeah, there you go. Come over here, get the drill arm installed. We might end up doing both, actually. I probably should. Uh, the drill arm was over here. I think I removed it from the queue afterwards, but I forgot I might want to. Because Reich really doesn't do anything but drill. It will impede their manipulation a little bit, which would hurt their fighting a little bit, but I think that's fine. You're about to get yourself an artificial enhancement, so that's going to be good. And yeah, Mathis wants an age reduction. We're working on it, Mathis. This has been set to redo it. Oh, auto wage reversal. We can turn that on. Yeah, I don't think I can do it on until they're gone. Like, I don't see... Oh, because I think it has to be linked first. So until they finish a cycle of something and they're not bio-linked. Reich is waiting, which should mean Maddie should come and do this, right? After some Psych IT, Neural Charge, you might get a little food as well. You're going to go research. Oh, no, Emulator. Sorry. Emulator is my chief medical officer. Done. No botch. Great stuff. Excellent. Oh, yeah. And if we've got ourselves a bionic arm kicking around, and we have, another, we have a second eye ready to go, 
which I could throw in a, a hope. I could also choose to like spread it around a little bit more between my people who are likely to be keepers, but I'm actually wondering if I should just go all in on hope as quickly as possible. Both eyes, both arms, both legs. Maybe not in that order either. I'm, I'm not actually entirely sure. We've got the eye now. So let's give her a bionic eye. So she, we did her left, we'll do her right. I'll do at least one arm first because she does have that missing finger. Ooh, trade ship. Oh, Dad, sorry to wake you, but we got tons of money, actually. We're doing pretty good financially here. Okay, less than I thought. I thought we had, uh, we had more kicking around. Unless, do we have silver that's not covered by our trade beacon? That's possible. Neutromine is starting to go down. Okay, bird skin, wolf skin, no reason to keep that around. 11 thrombofur, we're not going to do anything with that, so I'll sell it. The alpaca wool as well. Well, let's just do like 100 more neutromian. Neutro it's going to be plenty. I know I could afford a little bit more, but that's okay. Um... I don't, I, I don't expect we've got silver sitting anywhere else. Yeah, just 108 total left. Yeah, okay, so that was all accounted for. No problemo. You're waiting for an operation. Immolator, you're playing billiards. Could you go and uh, prioritize operating? Thank you very much. Using up a bunch of regular medicine, but that's okay. Bill complete mate drill arm. So, Reich, you are getting an, a new drill arm on your left as well. Okay. A little bit of idleness, not the end of the world. Research still ticking away. Oh, right, so uh, I did um, reorder the research just to make sure that the, um, well, the tech that leads to drill arms to make sure that was available. And now we're back on our armor. Rare thrombos again. Ooh, that's a big group. Might wanna wait for Hope to be back up. Still sedated, she's got her great eyes. So shooting, she should be excellent. Hey, we might take another whack at these thrombos. Make some more thrombo for goods, which is excellent. Sell the horns off. Again, actually, we could go and equip the horn as melee weapons, because I think they might be better than the weapons we've got there. I ended up selling them last time. Okay, no longer incapable walking. You're still going to be a little woozy. We still have the fawns in here as well. He's going to pop out in 20 hours. Okay. But yeah, we're also getting ready for another geothermal. I realized I don't I can't remember why I was letting the the walking path around. I don't think that's necessary. I think we can go with this tighter one and it just saves um, eight wall segments to build, which is 40 material. I mean, I guess that's something. All right. So, yeah, Mathis wants to go in there. We'll probably deal um, with your your age reversal after we deal with the thrombos here. Fawns, 16 hours. I mean, I don't need the fawns for this. Oh my god. The infestation message. One of the infestation messages we got was here. I had no idea. Because we got the infestation message on the other side, but we, we knew what was going on. But I guess one triggered here. Well, thank god it was only the cleaning bot and we can rebuild you. Okay, well, um, move you there, we'll leave the fawns and Reich unselected, select everyone else, let's group up, get ready to deal with these bugs, oh, you're shooting already, you gotta wait for reinforcements, I'm just gonna keep clicking here so that you stay busy, that's the long range rifle is ready to go, okay, we've got a good critical amount, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna set up a line, and Spear and Weiss are going to be ready to just pull melee aggro. Just to make sure to not interrupt our gunners. Like, I'm not even counting on them doing much damage. But it just, when the gunners get engaged, they stop shooting, which is a massive drop in their DBS. That is not acceptable. I think I am going to combat command here. Oh, it's, it's the fawns. I can't combat command. Oh, we hope you're kind of a late joiner here. Oh, you're going to friendly fire if you do this. Weiss is delicate and might go down fairly quickly here, but they're still getting the job done. Okay, 
Two more bugs. Uh, lifter. Oh, actually, you're fine. Okay, I think that's the last of the bugs. Down here, Mailers, you two can be released, and I'll release Immolator for medical duty at the same time. And yeah, we're just going to get over here, everyone here. They'll go and shoot those, um... What are they called? Nests? Hives. That's the word. There you go. Defeat. Unforbid. I guess those, because it happened in combat, they're like, well, we better forbid them so no one comes and runs and tries to repair that immediately. At least we've got a spot the infestations will happen. Okay, one thing we can check right now is if we put our roofing on, infestations can happen anywhere there's dark overhead tiles. So what we can do, and they will try to do it in the largest exposed area, what we can do is we can fill these in. Like, explicitly, I think I should fill in everything here because it would be tragically bad if something happened there. Um, I can probably fill the inner parts with wood, just in the interest of speed and easily acquired material. I do have better construction or something going on that will probably make them build this in the right order. Let me do that. And this outer area over here, I'll plan with granite. But yeah, there you go. You see how they're explicitly building the far back stuff? I think I have a mod that's making sure... <gasps> they pause that construction. See that? Making sure they don't box themselves in. Or just lead to something being inex inaccessible, which is annoying. Nice little quality of life mod. Excellent. Run, run a similar thing with uh, DF hack and Dwarf Fortress. And then we're going to go granite. Oops. Over here. Just to fill in all the dark green bits. And then... I guess the glow pods can be deconstructed. And then, yeah, we'll do more of the same over here. Uh, I'll do this granite. Just as is. That's fine. Fill that in. Oh, wait. These granite walls can be cancelled. You would instead. I think I'll do the rest of it out of granite. And this. So right now, infestations can still happen over here, and that's fine. That's outside my walls. Technically, this was outside my walls, too, but clearly close enough that things were getting chewed up or just destroyed from spawning. Oh, Mathis, do we have your thingy? We do have your thingy. So, Mathis, come over here and do an age reversal cycle. Let's say someone's going to come deconstruct these uh, light bulbs, but they're not doing that while there's construction queues, so that's why it's not happening. All right, the Fonz has done her phase, and we've got a caravan from a Lily Bellum. Oh, we could just gift you some stuff now. This could actually be very convenient, rather than having to fling things at you. I'm even fine with giving you some pure silver, not that I have a lot of it kicking around. But let's see. There you go. Deconstruction. Is there anything from you I'm dying to buy? You do have some components. A lot of components. A shocking amount of components. We'll take it. Do I have much to sell you? Hmm. Well, you want insect meat? I do have annoyingly little to sell you. Or maybe I'm wrong about that and I just hadn't scrolled down far enough. Okay, I don't even need silver because what I'm looking to do is actually gift you stuff. We just have to make sure, there we go, we have enough money to do this. That's one, pause, Odette. Don't walk away, come back here. So we're gonna go into gift mode. Hmm. Okay, you're at 61. So I think 40 is the hard cap. Doesn't make any sense to go above that. Or sorry, 100 is the hard cap, so 40 more. I think, is it 75 or 80 we need for an alliance? Something around there. I keep this excellent Devil's Drown Duster, actually.
plus 22. I mean, that's that's going to lead to an alliance. Yeah? Yeah, there we go. Good. All right. Excellent. Uh, Assignment-wise, or sorry, schedule-wise, unrestricted wall, mechs are unrestricted. So you got, you got actually destroyed. So I actually have to rebuild you completely. That's the clean sweep. Yeah, and I do want a clean sweep. I'm going to ask for another one of those. We'll have to ask for a subcourt. Done, done, done. Now back over here, we're just going to go into granite wall mode. There you go. Fill all that in, please. All right, we can hide this. So again, insects could spawn on the map. I think they'd be restricted to over here, which is fine. Yeah, insect spawns over here could have been really annoying. The thing is, we do still have a, a heck and a lot of firepower. So we're doing okay that way. Good, 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 good. Mathis in the pod. I think we only need one more quest for the arch rifle. Oh, no. We need way more than that. We still have this as well. Masterwork Devil's Brand Cape. Oh, lovely. We can always sell those excess as well. We're probably going to queue up a bunch of clothing jobs right now just because... Oh, we have the, th the Thrombos. Are they still around? Have they left? I think I want to take them. Uh, Fawns and Reich, you're both available now. That's good. I really don't want to melee, but... Any one of these have a speed boost? No, you'd actually be quite slow. Uh, I might just try to kite with Weiss. You don't have anything that's boosting your speed. But we're in A, we're not going to want to melee, and we are going to want some kiting for the uh, the shooters or something like that. So uh, we'll do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this motion in here. We're going to put a cut in here, but then my people will be recruited next time. So hopefully I will remember. So I'm going to go off and have myself a bit of lunch. Hope everyone's having a lovely day. Thank you very much for watching another episode of this series, which I'm enjoying very much. I'm sorry that we probably won't bring it to the actual Arco Nexus conclusion, just because I think we're all going to be pretty eager to move on to Anomaly, but we will do the sale of the site one time. Um, we've got the Alliance now. We just need to increase our, our value up a whole bunch, which I could just power level. We're going to try. I think... The value of the pawns gets calculated in there, and I think adding prosthetics people will increase the value. The other thing we can do is just slam out a ton of statues. Um, hold on, are we running... I am running the uh, the no quality on shelf mod. Um, that's a, a really cheap way to bring up your value a lot, just spam out a bunch of, like, masterwork shelves, too. But, um, yeah, I think we've got a fair number of ways that we can, we can just pump up our value. If nothing else, I can mine out a bunch of the map and just have all that stuff there. That would be something else, too. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye-bye.